Hey folks, it's Jason here, Old Car Auto Guy. I hope you had a great Christmas. This is going to be a Flashback Friday. If only you're going to be seeing it on Saturday. So in an effort to get a video put together for you guys for Saturday's regular upload, well, I kind of failed. So what we're going to do is we are going to take a look at the upload from exactly one year ago today. Take a look. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It is the day before Christmas Eve. Sorry about the wind, but we are getting ready to head over to Walmart. Why? Because we feel like we need another hole in the head. But today, even my wife is sporting some old car auto guy merch. Stick with us. So we are just headed across the border to Walmart because that is the nearest Walmart to us. And we're just trying to find something for my mother-in-law. Now, several years ago, I bought my mother-in-law a cemetery plot. And uh, she wasn't too happy about that. But the following year, I didn't buy her anything. And when she asked me why I didn't get her anything, I said, you didn't use what I got you last year. So yeah, that's not, <laughs> that's not really a true story, but I read it on Facebook. <laughs> Yeah, and I thought it was uh, funny I had to share that, so. I'm still undecided. <laughs> What's wrong, honey? So I'm still undecided on whether or not I want to take the camera into Walmart or not, because you know what? A lot of great things happen at Walmart at Christmas time, so. Maybe we will. Let's take a look. time. Walmart is not busy right now. Yeah, it's not quite lunchtime yet. Well, we made it out of there alive. Only waited about, what, 15 minutes or more? But, uh, we've got some shopping. I can almost say we're officially done. So, we'll see what the next thing brings. <laughs> well, it wouldn't be a trip to Callus without some Mickey D's. In, I'm not sure that this car has enough stickers on it. I know one she's missing though. And now it's time to lug it all in. That's not good. The defrost isn't working. Or my radio. Or my park lights. Or my overhead lights. That could only mean one thing. That made a difference, didn't it? I'm not sure what's going on. But this thing keeps blowing 40 amp fuses. Sounds like we gotta dig a little deeper in the well boys. Dig a little deeper in the well. So funny story about the 2012 Kia Forte behind me. As you recall, this car here, somebody lost or misplaced the keys for it but come to find out somebody found them you see 
as luck would have it, the day that we parked those cars over, we kind of moved everything down the lot a little bit, um, that was on a Friday. That Saturday, there was somebody, a customer, who had come in and was looking at cars and apparently found the key on the ground. Picked it up and for whatever reason, took it home, didn't call us, didn't let us know, didn't put it in the key drop box that was like literally 10 feet this way, and uh, ended up calling dad on Saturday, this past Saturday, and letting him know that I have these keys, I found them, uh, I'll drop them off. So he did, and when I come in this morning, that Kia was moved from out back to here, and I know that the only way that could have happened is if the key had shown up. So update on the key situation for that, it's back. And we don't have to rent a U-Haul or a tow truck to tow it to St. John, which is over, you know, 70 miles away and spend all that money to get that extra key programmed. Another key update. The 2011 Jeep Compass that we lost the key for? Well, it too showed up this weekend. Well, you see on Friday, we had like almost four inches of rain come down and melted almost every bit of snow that we got three days previous uh, when we had that big storm. So dad in all his wisdom figured well i'm just going to go out for a walk and see if this key showed up just out of the blue so he walks over in front of one of the sheds that we have out back and lo and behold there's the key for the jeep that we had lost sitting face up ready to be picked up just wipe the dirt off but he come out check the buttons make sure that everything still worked and it did so there's what we call a christmas miracle here at Old Car Auto. So although you guys will be watching this after Christmas, this is Christmas Eve day. And it's not too bad out today. It's, uh, I don't want to say mild. It's got a little bit of a nip in the air, but there's no breeze. And today we managed to get a few things uh, finished up at work. Uh, we left early. It's only about uh, two o'clock here. So before I left, I did manage to get the uh, emergency brakes adjusted up on bubble. So now we have a, an, an emergency brake and we're not using the birch tree anymore. But I figured today we would start up the old Mopar. So for those of you who are new to the channel, this is my 1979 Chrysler Cordoba. It's an ongoing project here at my garage as well as uh, some of the things that I'll work on at the shop as well. But today it hasn't been started in a while. Actually it hasn't been started since I parked here probably back in late September. So we're going to give her a start up, let her warm up the temperature and make sure that the battery still has some charge and, uh, you know, just get everything all up to temperature and, and working properly. So let's do it. So there's that cam we love to hear. As we let this car warm up, I just want to talk a little bit about a few things that we're going to be doing in some upcoming videos. We are going to be taking the intake apart and doing a home porting job on it, cleaning up the inside, making it a little bit more smooth as best that we can. We're also going to be taking off the exhaust manifolds and hopefully replacing them with some shorty headers and then in the spring we'll be able to get this out of the shop and uh, hook up some new exhaust for it as well. My goal with this car is to try and ascertain a minimum of 300 horsepower out of this thing on a dyno at the rear wheels. So I don't think that's too much to ask. If you guys will recall, I'll put the video up here in this link so you can go back and see how bad the car did on the dyno back in September. For as long as I've owned this car, I've always wanted to know what the horsepower rating was at the rear wheels. 
and uh, we got to know at that point and uh, I was a little bit disappointed with what I had. Now keep in mind, in that video you'll also know that I don't have a working tachometer and I was unable to see how far up I was tacking on this vehicle. At the end of the day it was really, I did about four runs at about 4500 RPM. So I think there's more RPM to be had, at least another thousand. And uh, we might be doing a few more tricks on this engine to try and get us the higher RPM as well as the horsepower rating that we want. So the temperature gauge is not climbed up there at all yet, but you'll see that we uh, have lots of oil pressure and lots of vol voltage. Now I know I've pointed it out several times before, but you will notice that on this car you've got the engine turn on the dash, the console, as well as with, with the instrument cluster. And the reason for this is, is because that was the interior trim design that you got on the Chrysler 300 model. Also on the Chrysler 300, you'd have a 300 logo there instead of the Cordova button. And in each side of the tail lights, you would also have the 300 etched into the glass where my sticker is, as well as a full color badge there. Also, you've got the crosshair grill and these fender louvers. That's one thing I like about this car. Not only is it a Chrysler Cordova, something you just don't see everywhere you go, but it's got a few unique touches on the Cordova from the 300 trim package. So guys, I hope you really enjoyed the update on my car, and I hope that you stay tuned for some more work on it. And there you go, guys. I hope you really enjoyed that flashback to a year ago from today. We saw lots of great memories in there with bubbles, as well as we got to get some sound clips of the old Chrysler Cordoba. So I hope you tune in to my New Year's special, which is going to be a flashback to 2018. That is gonna go up on New Year's Eve. I hope you really enjoy it. Please make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. If you're not already subscribed to this channel, I encourage you to do so. Old Car Auto Guy merch is available at the first link in the description box below. There are several different t-shirts that you can choose from, and not just t-shirts, there's hoodies and other swag. Please go over there, help support my channel so that we can get some more money to get this thing the way we want it. Anyways, stay focused on the windshield, not the rearview mirror. I love you, God bless. We'll see you in the next video. And I can promise Santa's coming to visit. No, he wouldn't miss